I'm Maria Menunos, and you're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Hey, what's up, AfterBuzzers? Welcome to another edition of Quarantine with the Stars. This is a fun show we're doing here on AfterBuzz TV, where we try to entertain all of you at home while we're here at home ourselves. I am Brian Saunders. I am your host, and I am the biggest CW fan out there. And I am joined today by an amazing member of the CW family. She is no change to that network. Please welcome Natalie Dreyfus. Welcome, Natalie. Hi. Did I say that right, by the way? <laughs> yes, you did. I'm so jealous of your starry background. <laughs> uh, thank you. I love stars. They're my gig. I love stars and pink, so this is my life. <laughs> A starry background for this. I should have <laughs> through. I love it. Well, first of all, Natalie, how are you doing at home? How are you staying busy during this quarantine? Um, well, as you can see, I'm wearing my Tiger King. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Have you seen it? No, such great things about it already. It is the craziest thing I've ever seen. So, <laughs> I wore my uh, Tiger King shirt in support of thank you, Netflix, for giving us <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tiger King during the quarantine. Um, I just finished it. It was insane. I love it. So I'm assuming you're watching a lot of TV. Definitely watching TV. I am a big um, like crafter. So I'm staying mm -hmm. busy with a lot of crafting. Nice. Um, I the last time I was in it after Buzz, actually, I had broken my thumb. Oh and gosh. So, yeah, and so I wasn't able to do like crafts and stuff for like eight to ten weeks. Um, it was my right thumb, of course. Had to, <laughs> I left the, had to be my dominant hand. <gasps> And so it's been really nice to be able to like do my painting and, and embroidery and like stuff like that that I like to do. Definitely. Well, um, how does an actor kind of hone their craft or stay sharp while stuck at home? You mentioned, of course, you're working for The Flash and we'll get to that, but how are you kind of keeping busy um, on the acting side of your craft? Yeah, I mean, I'm an acting teacher as well. And so nice. I've always done um, teaching like over the internet, over Skype and, and Zoom and stuff like that. So I have clients actually all over the country that I've been teaching from home for years. So I stay busy with that still and uh, just be run scenes and have fun over, you know, just running things over the internet, which is nice just to stay sharp and practice those muscles. And Absolutely. Of. Yeah. And I, I, we talked about this before that it's cool that we can are able to do this, you know, remotely, especially we're all stuck at home and it's kind of able to still do this over this kind of technology. So I think that's great. So I'm happy that you're able to still hone your craft and stay sharp. Um, all over the country, which is awesome. Um, yeah. So, okay, I mentioned I'm a huge CW lover, and I'm honored to have you join with join me here. You played Cassie and Esther in the Originals, which is one of my all-time favorite shows, and now you're playing Sue in the Flash. Um, so, tell me, what are your favorite moments from the Originals, and then tell me about Sue in the Flash. Yeah, it's a very different role. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing a five thousand year old witch who, whoopsie doopsie, created vampires. <laughs> Yeah, so it was very different than getting to play Sue. Uh, yeah, it was really awesome though. It was like such a fun job. It was a long time ago now, but um, I was playing the mother of all of these gorgeous <laughs> men. It was very fun. I had like five sons that were all like more beautiful than the next from all over the world. <laughs> Like an Australian one, New Zealand one. I was like, oh, they were so, yes. they were so cute. Uh, so that was very fun. Uh, and I, got I to love Elijah Michelson. <laughs> oh my god. Um, so that was really fun. They would call me mom on set. They'd be like, "Mom, stop!" And I was like, "Boys, calm down." <laughs> uh, it was just a really fun job. And also, I just remember from that show, the set design was crazy. Like mm -hmm. you would walk on the show, and like you would feel like you were in this crazy world. It yes. was just like these old like Maryland style buildings and like moss everywhere and smoke machines and like yes. you walk on set and you just get like transported immediately into this like you're like I am a witch I <laughs> I have just deeply understand what's going on here. So um, really quick, so you guys didn't shoot on location in Nola? No. We oh were wow! Atlanta. I never knew that. It, it looked like Nola. <laughs> we were in Atlanta and uh, it was mostly on uh, stages. Oh wow. Yeah, so they were they were incredible with their set design, and there was a few things that were outdoors, like the graveyard stuff. But um, a lot of it was just built, and uh, like they had a specific person just for candles. <laughs> That's <laughs> fun. Was candles <laughs> because there was so many candles in every scene. Like if you go back yes. and watch every scene, filled with candles. So exactly. she's just <laughs> lighting candles and like making sure the place doesn't burn down. It was really <laughs> 
I was like, is that your whole job? Just candles all day? She's like, all day, all day. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just fun little, fun little memories from the originals. Uh, and then, yeah, with Sue, it's, um, it's been just a whirlwind of a job and it's so much fun. And I didn't know that much about it before I started. Um, mm -hmm. they were kind of being tight lipped about it. So it's starting to unfold for me how, you know, interesting and fun this character is going to be and, uh, and how like layered it is. And, um, you know, obviously in the first episode, you get to see that like, I have a cat burglar suit and it's like, you know, it's not just a rich debutante that went, <laughs> she's a lot more than that. So it's been really fun for me to sort of figure that out as well. And, um, and just to be a part of the DC family is crazy. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, it's funny, I love CW, but I started all of the superhero show. They started Flash, started Arrow, started all of them and never got a chance to follow them all the way through. And I think now is my time that I'm going to go and really <laughs> watch them all because I love them just from the episodes I watched and just have to finish them because they're amazing. So it's the perfect time to honestly to, to like catch up on the Arrowverse just because it yes. is so big. And there's so many different like storylines that go on and crossovers and it's really fun. Definitely. I need to do that. Well, speaking of TV, of course, this interview is for After Buzz TV and we are the ESPN of TV talk. So tell me what you're watching on TV right now. Um, well, like I said, I just finished Tiger King, which was yes. very, very interesting. Definitely uh, one of the craziest I've ever seen. I don't know if I <laughs> recommend it, though. I don't want to be like, a, I don't know that I would recommend it to other people because it was pretty upsetting. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, uh, what else am I watching? I've just been like trying to catch up on all the movies from the last year and like, uh, you know, seeing stuff that I just didn't get to see because I was working and mm -hmm. um, also just like trying to kind of stay away from screens too much because yes. <laughs> so you get sucked in. So um, I definitely have been like trying to FaceTime my friends as much as possible and like stay feeling like we're connected and like you know, definitely watching TV and then talking about it with each other. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Well, it's yeah. great that you bring up your friends because I saw something really fun on your Instagram. I saw you had the prom at 33. You're basically your friends like through your surprise prom theme birthday party. I'm a sucker for a good prom. So tell me about that. That looks so fun. It was so sweet. Yeah, I actually never got to go to prom. I was I wasn't in high school. I was a ballerina at that time. So um, I took my GD and I, I didn't ever actually go to a high school. Oh, wow. So um, once my friends figured that out, they were like, we should throw her a prom. And uh, I was shooting at the time of my birthday this year. And so um, they did, I wasn't sure when I was going to be in Vancouver. And so they planned it a couple weeks early and completely fooled me. They told me we were going to the Magic Castle, which is like a fun thing that you can do here in LA. And you have to get very dressed up to go. So they got me mm -hmm. to get super dressed up so genius they were like you have to look really good I was like oh. <laughs> and then they were like let's go get a drink first at this place and I was like oh that's stupid let's just go and I kind of argued them a little bit but they were able to sort of convince me to go there and I walked in it was everyone I loved screaming at me at this bar and it was a full prom corsages like photo booth like music dancing all night it was so fun and I totally thought we were going to this other thing and I was like we're not going to the magic castle <laughs> like no we're staying here with all of our friends and having a great time uh it was just the best it was such a sweet way of sort of like uh celebrating 33 and um and bringing in this this new time I feel like 33 is a big birthday so definitely a little bit of 13 going on 33 I love that <laughs> it's a, a double number yes all right before we go Natalie is there anything else you want to shout out to the people tell them about what you're doing what they can do in quarantine just shoot it out there Definitely just shouting out my love to people that are staying home and like, you know, being so responsible with that and, you know, de definitely making sure that you're cleaning your groceries and making sure that you're staying as safe as possible. I'm sending my love and, um, you know, please catch up on the flash and, and let me know your thoughts. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Natalie Dreyfus and let me know what you're thinking of Sue. And I uh, can't wait for you guys to see more. I love that so much. Thank you so much again, Natalie, for joining me. I'm Brian Santos. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok at the Brian Santos. This is Quarantine with the Stars. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Natalie. <laughs>
Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. 